It's Brian Shannon from alphatrends.net. Today's Friday, the 24th of April, 2020. We had a pretty mixed market here uh, this week, uh, but overall, I think it was constructive. So taking a look at the S&P 500, we were down 1%, but you can see we did close for the second Friday in a row above that declining 50-day moving average. That's the green uh, moving average here coming down. We also closed above the year-to-date volume-weighted average price once again, and we're pretty much right at the volume-weighted average average price from the December 18 low. So, you know, when you look at the intraday time frame, looking here at a 30 minute time frame, we're kind of range bound. Uh, the bottom end of that range, really 272 to 273, top end of the range, 285 to 286. And I think that it's looking like a healthy consolidation through time rather than a deeper price correction. We closed above the five day moving average. You can see we closed uh, above and below that uh, five day moving average. But what we haven't seen seen. Uh, what we didn't see this week was a lower high and a lower low below that declining five-day moving average over here. Instead, the market recovered. So we're kind of neutral. And again, uh, you know, we had the opportunity for sellers to take control. They did not do that. It seems to me that most of the stocks that I look at are behaving well. And the ones that I look at as potential short trades never really trigger on the short side for us. So the market is telling us internally, uh, you know, each day I look at hundreds and hundreds of charts uh, of individual stocks on multiple time frames and the market is telling us that uh, we still have buyers in this market. We're above the rising 20-day moving average. We're above the volume weighted average price from the low. Next week, if we see some weakness, I think that you're going to look for most likely this volume weighted average price, which is from the uh, uh, March, uh, I'm sorry, April 1st, will be the level that buyers are likely to be found. And that to totally makes sense because it's continuing to rise and it'll rise up into what is now this band of support in here. So if we, you know, close below 271-ish next week and start showing a pattern of lower highs and lower lows, then I think we'd be in for bigger trouble. But for now, it's encouraging to see this type of activity. The semi uh, NASDAQ rather uh, also, you know, gapped down below that five day moving average, but recovered quickly without making a lower high and lower low below it. Looking to the daily time frame, we continue to hold above the declining 50 day moving average. And the fact that the 50 day moving average is declining gives us reason for concern, but not reason for sell. Same as we look at levels of interest. It's interesting that it's closing above the declining five day moving average and that the five day moving average is declining, but that is not a reason to take action. We take re action based on price and price only. Had the market done something like this this week, run up to that five day moving average and then started to back away from it and make a pattern of lower highs and lower lows, then I would have gotten bearish, but there was no reason to be. Instead, we look at now our biggest level of potential support for next week is 204 to 205. And uh, the band of resistance is 214 to 215. As long as we're in that range, I'm going to continue to give the benefit of the doubt to the buyers. But I always have one foot out the door just in case we do break down. The Russell 2000 finally starting to show some outperformance here, or at least some, you know, a little bit of relative strength. Let's take a look at the weekly number. They were up, you know, 39 basis points versus the SPY was down 1.2% uh, and the NASDAQ down 0.57%. So a little bit of relative strength, but you know, here's what we see. We are above the rising five day moving average. That's the orange line. We're above the volume weighted average price from this prior recovery peak. That's a good sign. And we're making higher highs and higher lows. I've been telling Alpha Trend subscribers in the daily video uh, that if we are looking for a long opportunity, a stop goes underneath this low right here. That's still the case. The, fifth, the, the daily time frame still a mess, but objectively it's making higher highs and higher lows. Maybe next week we look for it to get up to the 50 day moving average. The volume weighted average price off of the peak for this year is found exactly at that level. So the highest we've traded at in the Russell 2000, if you take a volume weighted average price off of that, that tells us that uh, that 128 level is certainly a level of interest where we have the opportunity to find enough supply that might become resistance. So again, we don't know resistance till after the fact. It's a potential level. It's an area of interest, as I always like to say. 
Semiconductors still holding on strong here as well. They had a little bit of shakeout this week, held above the rising 20-day moving average, and we are still above the year-to-date volume-weighted average price on a closing basis again. The 30-minute time frame, we saw the same thing. We saw a quick shakeout, but we did not see a lower high and lower low below it. So benefit of the doubt continues to go to the buyers. The uh, biotechs have been holding on real strong to their gains. As I suggested last week, we're extended, and it doesn't make sense to buy a so-called Called breakout up here but you know so far we're uh, looking at this market and it's holding on to its gains again through price action uh, through time rather uh, going sideways rather than a deeper price pullback and you can see it still holds that rising five-day moving average below 122 would get me a little bit more cautious about this group and on the weekly time frame you know we're extended but maybe we're heading for the all-time highs there the one area that's been the most reason for concern has been these uh, financials now the financials still holding on that rising 20-day moving average uh, you know every day this week well I'm sorry the last four days in a row it seems as though there's buyers holding it up above that level. Looking to the 30 minute time frame, here are the key levels. We've got the volume weighted average price from the bottom and we continue to hold above that. So our key su support for next week uh, that we wanna see hold is 21 to 21.15. If we break below that and make a lower high and lower low below it, well then I think that we'll likely have problems for, the, uh, for this group that if it does that, that would get me bearish. However, if we can get above and hold above the volume weighted average price from the peak, maybe we're gonna see uh, a, a quick push up towards the 50 day moving average in here. Sunday morning, 10 a.m. Eastern, there's a free webinar uh, from TrendSpider. I'll be presenting exactly at uh, 10.05 Eastern. I'll be talking about using the volume weighted average price on the TrendSpider um, uh, charting platform. If you can join it, Feel free, look at my Twitter, I've got a link there. Or if you're on alphatrends.net looking at this, the link will be there as well. Thanks for your time and have a good weekend.